Pull the strap to tighten it. To open seat belt, instructions on how to open the exits can be found on each exit. If there's a sudden change in cabin pressure, your oxygen mask will drop down automatically in front of you. see all this around here that happens to be smog that is smog is that crazy but this is our awesome view you're never going to believe where I'm at I happen to be in Cairo Egypt and check this out that is right that is one of the pyramids that's behind me and there is the other one isn't this like so beautiful and amazing i can't tell you how breathtaking these views are uh, to be right next to this thing that was built i believe the guy was saying almost five thousand years ago i mean think about it back home our country's only been founded for about 243 47 years these things were 5,000 years ago. Isn't that amazing? That one back there is about 400 feet. This one right here is roughly about 300 feet. But they were talking about it took almost 70 years to build. This thing is truly amazing. I mean, it's just wow. To see all the work that went into this thing is just incredible how much stuff was actually built but we're just getting started man so stay tuned <music> Best ways I found to get around Cairo is by actually using Uber. It works really good, flawless, as long as you have service. And you know, when you're using it, just use uh, Select. And the cars have been very clean. The drivers are very knowledgeable. And you know, they get around traffic pretty good. You don't have to negotiate with taxis like normally. Before I found Uber was working down here which was a hassle but yeah definitely stick to uber when you ever come down here it is the best way to get around and um, you don't have to worry about money exchange also just like anywhere else that you use uber but definitely the best way to get around is by using uber yep hey everyone so you're never gonna guess what i found here in cairo egypt that behind me happens to be a harley davidson store I was talking to the people inside. They were telling me they have two chapters here. They actually have about 400 writers, members per chapter. Is that pretty awesome? Check it out. And I also got some merch from them. How cool is that? But this is one of my stops for today. From here, I'm going to go to another part of town. Um, the streets walking down here is pretty cool. I feel safe. I mean... Um, the neighborhoods are very different from what I'm accustomed to back home, but overall, um, they're pretty cool. I mean, I really enjoy them. Anyways, we're headed to the next place. So now I happen to be walking across the Nile River in Cairo, Egypt. And let me tell you, it is a massive, huge river. This thing's probably got to span 300, maybe even more in some areas, 300 feet, 300, 400 feet, but it is pretty massive. Walking across the bridge, just left the Harley store. 
walking uh, back into downtown. I love coming to a new country, being able to be in a part of the world where the language is different, the food is different, and pretty much everybody else looks different. And I love it. There's something about that that I really enjoy and just um, really uh, get to experience, you know, that you get don't get that back home. But it is a beautiful river. Let me show you this. What's one of the things that'll keep you from traveling, go outside, actually leave your comfort zone, is the words of others. And let me explain this. It is actually the fear that other people have. They start to speak it, you start to hear it. It gets into your body, it gets into your soul, it gets into your heart, it gets into your mind, and it'll stop you. Don't let the words of others create fear in your life. Let it go move on don't hang on to those things those are things that they're dealing with that doesn't belong to you don't let that attach to your life